seven last year. Their win total right now sits at eight and a half to go over is minus 105 to go under is, oh, by the way, Arizona Cardinals, I had seven and nine. Seven and nine. Um, so, uh, so eight and a half over is minus 105 to go under minus 125 to win the division is plus 50 or plus uh, 550. Excuse me. Coach Sean McVay entering his fourth season. Let, let's go through some of the stats. And they were not a bad football team last year. Uh, 5.7 offensive yards per play per, uh, uh, yeah, per play. Number 11 in the league. Defensive yards per play, 5.1 is what they gave up. That was number eight in the league. Turnover margin, however, number 16, uh, they were dead even. 0.0, uh, didn't gain or lose. Um, Aaron Donald, I mean, that's the the key to the defense, right? I mean, he's he's just an absolute stud, and, and I will believe that he will continue to be that until I don't see it again. Uh, you know, they lose Brandon Cooks, they lose Gurley, they lose Dante Fowler. At running back Cam Akers expected to uh, to lead the backfield and whatnot this year. I mean, they brought him in in the second round. They lost a ton of draft picks. They, I, I'm curious, you know, does their win now um, moves, do, do those bite them at this point? Because I thought it would bite them even more last year, but, you know, it, it didn't. Uh, Kittle... You know, uh, not Kittle up. Is McVay uh, still like a hot shot? Is he still the boy wonder? Is he? And I still think he's a fantastic coach. But when he came in, man, he took this league by storm, and everybody was hiring anybody that had anything to do with him. I don't like the roster right now. I don't like Jared Goff, especially for the money that they spent on him. I don't like the weapons. I mean, they still got Cooper Cup. They got guys, you know, but I. And I, I don't like what they're doing, but I still trust McVay to be able to get the most out of what they've got. Uh, I've got them at nine and seven, but I don't feel great about it. We're really close. I got them at eight and eight. That makes sense. I, I think. I think. Listen. I think McVay is really good. I still like McVay a lot. I never liked golf. And that defense has gotten progressively worse. They went all in last year, and it. You know, they spent a ton of money. They went out and got a lot of free agents, and they have zero draft capital. So I don't even know how they get better. Okay. Yeah. So it's just one of those things where uh, that defense isn't going to get better. They're going to get worse every year. Um, I think they're going to struggle. I think offensively, they're going to be good. Yeah. I, I mean, don't that's, see yeah, them I think finishing be good. below 500, but at the same time, I, I it's really hard for me to find more than eight wins to them. I don't think they're going to be the juggernaut that, that we thought they would be when he first came in the league. Uh, Matt Miller said it'll be interesting to see who plays running back for him. I took a late flyer on Cam Akers, but it could be your boy Henderson. Nope. Uh, H- Henderson no chance. It's going to be it's going to be Cam, and it's yeah. not close. I don't think I don't think it's close at all. Henderson had opportunities last year to get on the field, yep. couldn't and do it, couldn't do anything. You know, Henderson, and maybe Henderson is looking like another Memphis bust. Yeah, and I, I like don't get me wrong, we are pulling for him. We want him to yeah. do well. But, my, it, but I'm not going to lie about what my eyes see. Yeah, the returns were not great last year. He, he's he's not he's not been good. The the returns were not. And great. he had plenty of opportunity to steal that job, to grab that job by the haunches and just take it. And and couldn't do it. Couldn't and do it. Couldn't do it. Uh, so uh, so disappointing. So disappointing. All right, we'll move off of the Rams, and we are moving into 